Hi, my name is Greg, and this tutorial is how to set up your Radian for a basic panning time lapse. So the first thing that we're going to do is attach the camera to our Radian. And we can just use the threads at the bottom of the camera and the stud on Radian. And as you're tightening it, don't over tighten it as you'll unnecessarily scratch your Radian. Um, but you just want it to be nice and snug. Now you can attach your Radian to your tripod. And while you're doing this, make sure to grip your Radian nice and firmly um, on both the bottom and the top. This is important because when you're attaching your tripod, you want to make sure that the bottom of the Radian doesn't rotate relative to the top. If it does, what you're doing is back driving the motor. Now, Radian is actually designed to handle uh, this kind of use, but we still recommend for the longevity of your device that you avoid it if possible. Um, and then once you get that all set up, you can get your tripod ready and you can grab your bubble level. Do make sure that your rating is actually level as any error will be especially obvious in your final time lapse. Now that that's set up, you can set up your camera for the shot. So take off your lens cap and we recommend that you shoot in manual as well as put your camera in manual focus. Reason for this is as your camera moves and rotates, you don't want your camera changing focus every shot. And if autofocus is slow, you don't want to miss a shot either. Now you need to decide your angle of rotation. And if you don't know how many degrees you want your camera to move, you can just grab the Radian manual, which on the back side here has this handy diagram. Um, so you can just take that and set it next to your camera. You can say, okay, my camera's pointed this way and I want it to point that way, and that's 40 degrees. Next, we need to create our settings in the app. So we can go New Time Lapse and tap the first number. We can set, okay, we're gonna rotate for 40 degrees, um, and then we go back to Duration. We can set the length of the time lapse, so in this case, we'll do four hours or one hour. Um, and then Shoot Every is how often your camera will take a photo. So we're going to do 15 seconds. And pretty much you're all ready to go. Also, um, in the bottom here, you'll see right there it says 10 seconds. That's going to be your final video length at 24 frames a second. Uh, it's going to show you 0.17 is the number of degrees that it will rotate per photo. And lastly, 240 is the total number of photos that Radian will take on your camera. All right, so now you can see we're going to take a photo every 15 seconds for one hour, and Radian's going to rotate 40 degrees. If you don't want your time lapse to stop after an hour, just press duration and tap the infinity button so that it's light blue. That way, your time lapse will keep going after one hour and will continue until you turn Radian off. Now your settings should be all finished, and you're ready. Next, we need to upload our settings to Radian. So first we're going to turn it on and watch the LED. Ours blinks twice, which means that the battery is two-thirds full. You also notice that Radian is moving around adjusting itself. That's the motor making sure it's properly engaged. Next we can go into the app and press the bottom right hand arrow key. That'll get us to the upload page. Then we grab our 3.5 cable and plug that into both your phone and Radian and we're ready to press upload. Now when you do that, watch the other LED and make sure that it holds a solid green for a couple seconds. This means that the upload was successful. If it doesn't do that, let us know on Freshdesk and we'll be happy to help you out. It's usually a quick and easy fix. Now you can disconnect your phone and set it completely to the side as you're finished with it. And you can grab your camera cable and plug that both into your Radian and your camera. And just make sure your camera is now on. All right, so now everything should be set up and your Radian should be commanding your camera. If you have any problems with this setup or anything else, please let us know on Fresh Test and we'll be happy to help you out. And thanks for watching this video.